Hey girls, where are we? We're at Washington Irving's house. Stop! We need to wear these lame name tags. Okay. That's the uh, clippings, or the osteria he grew. It's still growing, and then the ivy is from uh, Sir Walter Scott, the, the famous Scottish writer. And that's the beautiful river. And that's the Hudson River. And there's the big the, bridge. The Tappan Zee Bridge that we came over. And then we saw Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, right? The church. Yeah. And the Irving grave site and the Hessian. And the bridge. The ho Headless and Horseman we just Bridge. And we saw a train go by. And we saw a train go by. His house. It's Washington Irving's house. And, and it's called Sunnyside. Daddy. Yeah. Come over here. Of course my hand's not shaking now. Yeah. And he built that tower and as an addition. It, but Italian tower, Spanish tower, Spanish tower. Right. So he flew it in Spanish. He knew he was a Spanish ambassador. Yes, he was Spanish. That was his study in there, and almost everything in that house is from his time period, which is pretty cool. This is the old Dutch church uh, built in the like 1672 around there uh, by the Dutch colonists. This is the, one of the oldest buildings around that area. That's the Irving grave site where Washington Irving is buried. And that's the Headless Horseman Bridge. It's been rebuilt. That's not the original. That's where, uh, supposedly where the Sleepy Hollow, where the Headless Horseman, if he crossed that bridge, you're safe. But if he got you, before then, well, you know what happens to Ichabod Crane. He throws the pumpkin across the bridge and supposedly hits Ichabod. Um, and then there's some other old cemeteries about revolutionary soldiers buried in the grave site. So it's a really interesting area uh, full of a lot of romance. Yeah, the, here we are, uh, my wife and daughters, we're in the back of uh, Irving's house. And you can see the romantic era where the house is kind of free form, involved with nature. There's no real rhyme or reason to things. And it's kind of something's built here, something's built there. In the next uh, house you'll see the classical form of architecture which is balance, symmetry. Toys. Hey guys, Toys. where are we? We're in the the house. Yep. And that's the Hudson, there's the Catskills in the back. It's a little overcast but rain probably later but right now it's gorgeous. Yep. And there we are, Vanderbilt Mansion. We're going to take a tour in about 15 minutes. Malin and Nancy correctly identified the type of architectural structure, which is what? Classical. Yes. How do you know that, Nancy? What? It's symmetrical. It's very well balanced. It's symmetrical. And based on what model? I said that. What? Based on what model? Greek. 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 Excellent, guys. Ooh. What kind of columns are they? Uh, Corinthian. Corinthian. Oh. Very nice. One thing about my, my, my trips, they're always educational. Our new house? Yeah. yeah, we're doing some house shopping. We're thinking of this one. Yeah, it's so cheap. It's free. In this market, yeah. 80% off. $100,000 house is not worth $50 million.